Hey guys, Gary Dean, DetailJuice.com. It is April 8th, and yes, I'm wearing a hoodie because I'm a big baby when it comes to chili uh, or even cold. It's probably, I don't know, 50 degrees out here right now. Um, whatever, I can be a big baby if I want. It's where I'm at. So, <clears throat> a lot of you guys have been asking me what the status of my 1980 El Camino is. And here you go. Yesterday, I picked it up from my mechanic. I've had a ton of work done to this thing in the past few months. The first thing was the rear end. I had the rear end rebuilt. It's the stock seven and a half inch uh, rear end. Um, I had the 256 gear ratio pulled out. I had 342 put in with Posi. I also went with 28 splined axles instead of the factory 26. And then uh, they put in new bearings and that kind of thing. So the rear end is fresh. She's good to go. I'm about to just open it up so I can pop the uh, hood for you. And um, so she's ready to go. Right after the uh, rear end was done, I had the transmission uh, actually completely swapped out. Uh, I had the turbo 350 three speed that was in there when I got it swapped out for a 93 Corvette 700 R4, I believe. Um, it was built to handle 800 horsepower per uh, my mechanic that built it. So uh, it was built pretty good, shift kit, that kind of thing. Because uh, when I got the rear end done, the gear ratio with the other transmission made it rev way too high when I was at highway speeds and made the car basically undrivable. Uh, so I did the transmission, then we did a 2000 stall. That woke the car up a lot. It was awesome, it was pretty fun even with that bullshit 267. A V8 that I had in here, the original motor to the car, it ran really good. It just had no power. It was the gutless wonder. So I had to do something about that. So after I had the rear end done, I did the transmission. Then I was like, screw it, let's do the engine. I've been wanting to do this for a long time. Finally got to the point in business and in life where I can uh, do a little bit for myself. And so this was something that I, I had been wanting to do for... You know the four and a half years I've owned the car uh, and so finally I was like screw it let's just do it so what you're looking at is a 87 Corvette 350 board 30 over I believe to a 355 I've got Vortec heads Edelbrock performer intake it has a 650 Holly double pumper carb um, I've got the same, uh, I believe those are Headman shorty ceramic coated headers that I had on with the other motor. We put an electronic fuel pump in there. Um, we did an aluminum water pump, brand new AC compressor, brand new power steering pump. I mean, everything is brand new. Uh, we did reuse the alternator. Um, we did use some used valve covers because he had those laying around. Didn't feel like spending the money on those. That's fine. I'm, you know, I built this to be a driver, not a show car. I just needed some more power. So we ended up putting a new battery in. Uh, we did do an aluminum radiator, um, HEI distributor. You know, it's all done right. And she is a beast. What I got to do now is I have to uh, get some better tires. Unfortunately, with these wheels, I can only get those in 18 by 8. Now, I have 18 by 7s all the way around now. So, my option is I think I can fit a 17 by 9.5 back here. So, I'll have to get all new wheels and tires if I do that. But I think the option that I'm going to go with is to just get the 18 by 8s and put some really good tires. Maybe maybe like some Michelin Pilot Super Sport 2s. Um, I, I think those are the best uh, street tires that you can get. I need a little bit more 
traction. Well, I need a lot more traction because this bitch will spin all day long. In fact, when I brought it home, I spun from here all the way down the street to that red truck and it didn't want to let up then. Um, so anyway, I'm working out all the kinks, making sure she's running right, making sure that there's no leaks. Uh, still got the break-in oil in it. Um, my mechanic suggested we break it in hard. I don't know what that's about, um, but that's what he said. And, you know, if there's an issue, he's going to take care of it. Uh, if you guys want to know who I'm using for my work, I'll let you uh, in on that. Just send me a private message. But this car has come a long way from when I got it. We also, while it was in there, I also had all of the suspension replaced. So, oh, there's a transmission cooler we added to. Um, had all the trans or the suspension replaced, uh, tie rods, center link, all that stuff. Um, I also had a rear sway bar added from a Monte Carlo. You can see that that's kind of ugly, but it is what it is. Um, I'm probably gonna upgrade the exhaust a little bit more. That's a two and a half inch exhaust from my shorty headers back into Flowmaster Super 44 uh, mufflers. I'm gonna start it up for you guys. Uh, I just want it to be louder, I guess. I think that's my problem. I just want more noise. You guys know how I am. I'm an attention whore. I gotta have more noise. Uh, we also added some gauges. Um, it did not have a tack in it before, so now it has a tack. It has a voltage gauge, oil pressure, and water pressure. Um, I don't know that I love the white, but whatever. So anyway. Oh, I forgot to mention the uh, thumper cam we added. It's a, it's very mild. Well, it's, it's one step before you go crazy, uh, per my understanding. We did uh, dyno the motor. Um, we did dyno it uh, before the motor was put in the car. Ah, fuck. Oh, I don't really want to talk numbers. But. She made four, 457 at the crank and 493. Look at this shit. Needs to warm up. Sounds a lot better than it did um, when I had the other engine. It definitely has more of a more of a rumble, more of a powerful sound, uh, especially with that cam in here. Um, I just kind of feel like I want it a little bit louder. So, like I said, I have the Flowmaster Super 44 mufflers on this thing. I'm thinking about going Super 10s. I mean. Those are supposed to be some loud mufflers, and I kind of just want that. I just feel like I need it. Um, so, at the crank, before we put the motor in the car, it made 457 horsepower and 400, 493 foot-pounds of torque. Um, I didn't go crazy with this build, but I got a good guy who does good work, and um, we put some solid quality parts on this thing without getting stupid. Um, you know, again, I wanted a driver. I wanted a car I could jump in it and take it wherever I want. The AC system's all brand new. It's a driver. It's a good, solid driver. It's comfortable. Um, so, 
if you take what 20% off the 457 um, I'm I should be putting down right around 400 horsepower at the wheels she wants to break loose and spin all day long and we got to get a hold on that now part of the problem is that I have these Falcon Azenus PT722 uh, tires on there that's part of the problem so once I get uh, some decent tires on this thing uh, she should hook up a bit better and go so I'm probably gonna keep the 18s because I think they look fantastic on the car and I really like these wheels specifically um, but I'll get the 18 by 8s and then get those Michelin Pilot Super Sports put on the back I may just roll with the front tires that I have for now and then I'll have another set because I'll have those rear wheels uh, with the tires on them if I need it so Purrs like a kitten running really good I'm super happy with the work I'm super happy with the power um, if you're in the Tampa or even the Florida area or state or whatever and you want some good quality mechanic work done GM performance specifically carbureted uh, my guy can hook you up for sure uh, just PM me I'll get you that information as far as the interior goes um, I'm going to put new bulbs in the cluster. Uh, I am going to put new seats in here very soon. I don't love these seats. In fact, they were just something temporary uh, to get the factory bench out of here. I am going to build a speaker box and center console uh, myself. I like to have some cup holders in there. Um, I've done the audio. The audio is really nice in here. It's all kicker. I've got two tens. Um, I will be having an alarm system installed so that I'll have the key fob and I can do I'm gonna put keyless entry in uh, have some uh, actuators put in so that I can uh, just hit a button and unlock it make it a little bit more luxurious but that's it guys Everything's pretty much brand new. Whole drive line is good to go. Uh, like I said, just a few more tweaks I'm gonna make. Specifically tires and then some interior upgrades. And then that's it. She doesn't need much else. I gotta polish the paint. It's been in and out of the shop for freaking three months. They've been wiping it down. Yesterday I gave it a, a wash of my Evo shampoo. <clears throat> It has infinite force field on it, but it's just been, I wouldn't say neglected, but they keep wiping it down, I, even after I tell them not to uh, at the shop, but sounds good. Looks good, feels good, runs good, I'm happy. So anyway, if you got any questions for me about my build, um, or if you want information on my guy, I will get you that information. But this has been Gary Dean with DetailJuice.com. And what you're looking at is the DetailJuice.com mascot. It is the juice hauler. So, uh, she's pretty. I love this car. Thanks, guys. Have a great day.